May 21st, 2024. My sister and I are chasing in Iowa, 50 miles southeast of Des Moines. We're closing in on the triple point boundary that the SPC has issued a four out of five moderate risk for tornadoes. Along the dry line, many storms have already started to fire off with a tornado warning issued earlier around 1 p.m. northeast of Lincoln, Nebraska. The time is just after 3 and the cells have really ramped up along the dry line and are beginning a merger, developing into very strong clustering, rotating supercells. One major downfall at this point in our chase was an inability to have live updates from our Radar Omega, which was experiencing a lag due to my sister's cell phone loss of signal, which we had paired with our iPad. Further, we weren't able to have a direct line of visibility due to uh, the hillside and the obstruction of trees in our way made it hard for us to see a developing wall cloud that would eventually spawn the Greenfield tornado that pour through, causing EF4 damage and even the loss of life. At this point, we are southbound on Interstate 34, or sorry, Interstate 148, south of Messina, pushing for our east option of 34 near Corning. We are in pursuit of what we think the tail end Charlie to be the best option for this clustering line of cells as it usually produces a tornado. But this day was different. There were many developing rotating cells in this cluster which at one point may have been three tornadoes on the ground at the same time definitely two that we experienced it was just a crazy chase and shortly you will see the tornado that was the Greenfield tornado in the now viral video that Reed Timmer and his crew got drone footage of. This might have been one of the most memorable chases that I have experienced with my sister and I and will be for a long time to come. chasers now this is it we're on the books okay 
I want to oh get in a better God. position. Let me try to... As we're filming the Greenfield Tornado in its early right stages, uh, another funnel was developing just to our south or our west, actually, um, and began to pick up debris on the ground. So clearly it was at ground rotation and was now a fully fledged tornado that we had to reposition ourselves for. At this point, we decided to hit, head south for our eastbound option, east of Corning and on Highway 34, and get out of harm's way from this thing. And thankfully, I think everybody, uh, nobody was injured from this tornado. I'm not 100% sure, but um, again, our thoughts and prayers are with those that were affected oh by these God. damaging storms. Right um, do hope you guys enjoyed wow. this video. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch it. Uh, safe chasing and God bless.